Welcome back to Finance Homefront. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of cryptocurrency, exploring what it is, how it works, and what you need to know before getting started. If you find this content helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated on all our latest videos. Just a quick reminder, everything discussed here is for informational purposes only. I'm not offering financial advice. With that said, let's get started. Cryptocurrency represents a revolutionary form of digital money that operates independently of traditional banks or financial institutions. Unlike conventional currency, which requires a centralized authority to validate transactions, cryptocurrency relies on decentralized technology, enabling individuals to make purchases, investments, and transfers without intermediaries. This cutting edge system is powered by blockchain technology, an immutable ledger that records and verifies every transaction, ensuring transparency and security. If you are curious about the intricacies of cryptocurrency and are considering venturing into this exciting financial domain, this comprehensive guide will provide you with a detailed understanding of how cryptocurrency works and the essential information you need before making any investment decisions. Defining Cryptocurrency, the future of digital payments. Cryptocurrency, often referred to as crypto, is a digital payment system that eliminates the need for physical currency. Unlike traditional money, which exists in the form of paper bills or coins, cryptocurrency is entirely digital. It is primarily used for online transactions, but its application has extended to some physical purchases as well. The most remarkable aspect of cryptocurrency is that it is not controlled by any government or centralized authority. Instead, various companies create and manage different types of cryptocurrencies, allowing for a diverse and competitive market. One of the key characteristics of cryptocurrencies is their fungibility. This means that the value of a cryptocurrency remains constant when it is bought, sold, or traded. For instance, one unit of a cryptocurrency will always be equivalent to another unit of the same cryptocurrency, regardless of the transaction. This distinguishes cryptocurrencies from non-fungible tokens, NFTs, which have variable values based on the digital assets they represent. For example, while one unit of a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin will always be equal to another Bitcoin, the value of an NFT dollar can fluctuate depending on the associated digital asset. It's important to note that even though cryptocurrencies operate outside of government regulations, they are still considered taxable assets. Any profits or losses incurred from cryptocurrency transactions must be reported to the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, in the United States. This underscores the importance of understanding the legal and tax implications of investing in cryptocurrencies. The creation of cryptocurrencies, understanding the mining process. The process of creating new units of cryptocurrency is known as mining. Mining involves validating transactions and adding them to the blockchain, the digital ledger that records all cryptocurrency transactions. This process requires specialized hardware and software to solve complex mathematical problems, which in turn generate new units of cryptocurrency. Miners are rewarded with cryptocurrency for their efforts making mining a potentially lucrative endeavor for those with the necessary technical expertise. However, not all cryptocurrencies are created through mining. Some cryptocurrencies are developed through a process known as a hard fork. A hard fork occurs when a blockchain splits into two separate chains, creating a new cryptocurrency while maintaining the original one. The new chain follows a different set of rules and protocols, resulting in the creation of a new cryptocurrency. These cryptocurrencies are typically used for investment purposes rather than for everyday transactions. Comparing cryptocurrency to traditional currency, a paradigm shift in finance. Traditional currency, also known as fiat currency, is produced by governments in the form of paper bills and coins. This currency can be held in a bank used for purchases and is backed by the government's promise of value. In contrast, Cryptocurrencies are not issued or controlled by any government, bank, or financial institution. Instead, they are stored in digital wallets and used for online transactions. 
One of the most significant differences between traditional currency and cryptocurrency is how they are stored and protected. Traditional currency held in a bank is typically insured against loss, meaning that if the bank fails, depositors can recover their funds. In contrast, cryptocurrencies stored in digital wallets are not insured, and if the wallet is lost or compromised, the cryptocurrency may be unrecoverable. This highlights the importance of securely storing and managing digital assets. The advantages of cryptocurrency, privacy, security, and global reach. Cryptocurrency offers several advantages over traditional currency, particularly in terms of privacy, security, and global accessibility. One of the most significant benefits of using cryptocurrency is the privacy it affords users. When making a purchase with cryptocurrency, there is no need to provide personal information, reducing the risk of identity theft and other fraudulent activities. This anonymity is a key selling point for many cryptocurrency users, particularly those who are concerned about their privacy in an increasingly digital world. Another advantage of cryptocurrency is its global nature. Unlike traditional currency, which may require currency conversion when making international transactions, cryptocurrency can be used seamlessly across borders without the need for foreign exchange rates. This makes cryptocurrency particularly appealing for those who frequently engage in international transactions or who live in countries with unstable currencies. However, it is important to note that not all countries recognize or allow the use of cryptocurrency. So it is essential to understand the legal status of cryptocurrency in different regions before making transactions. Furthermore, cryptocurrency users are not subject to the restrictions that traditional banks impose, such as ATM withdrawal limits or account freezes. This gives users greater control over their finances and allows for more flexible and unrestricted access to their funds. Types of Cryptocurrency Exploring the diverse world of digital assets. Cryptocurrencies come in various forms, with the most common being coins and tokens. The primary distinction between the two is that tokens represent assets that exist on a blockchain, while coins can be virtual, digital, or even tangible. Coins are more akin to traditional money, with each digital coin having its own blockchain. On the other hand, tokens are created on existing blockchains and can be used as currency or to represent ownership of an asset. Bitcoin, the first cryptocurrency, remains the most widely recognized and traded digital currency. It serves as a benchmark for the entire cryptocurrency market, and its value often influences the prices of other cryptocurrencies. Ethereum, the second most valuable cryptocurrency, is known for its versatility in facilitating complex transactions, such as smart contracts. Beyond Bitcoin and Ethereum, there are numerous other cryptocurrencies commonly referred to as altcoins. Some of the more well-known altcoins include Cardano, Solana, Dogecoin, and XRP, each with its unique features and use cases. Getting started with cryptocurrencies. A step-by-step -step guide. For those interested in entering the world of cryptocurrencies, the first step is to choose a broker or a cryptocurrency exchange. An exchange is an online platform where users can buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies directly with other users. Brokers, on the other hand, act as intermediaries between buyers and sellers, facilitating transactions on behalf of their clients. When using an exchange, users must find buyers or sellers for their cryptocurrency transactions, which can be a more hands-on process. Brokers simplify this by handling the transactions, making them a popular choice for beginners. Here is a step-by-step -step guide to getting started with cryptocurrencies. Step one, create and fund your account. Once you have selected a broker or exchange, the next step is to create an account. During the registration process, you may be required to provide identification to verify your identity. This is a standard security measure to prevent fraud and ensure compliance with regulatory requirements. After your identity is verified, you can fund your account. The funding process may vary depending on the method you choose, and it may take a few days for the funds to clear into your cryptocurrency account. 
Step two, buy cryptocurrency. With your account set up and funded, you are ready to make your first cryptocurrency purchase. The cryptocurrency market offers a wide range of options, allowing you to purchase as much or as little as you like. When you have decided on the cryptocurrency you wish to buy, you will need to enter the ticker symbol and specify the amount you want to purchase. Some of the most commonly traded cryptocurrencies and their ticker symbols include Bitcoin symbol BTC, Ethereum symbol ETH, Dogecoin symbol DOG, Tether symbol USDT, USD coin symbol USDC, Uniswap symbol UNI. Step three, choose a storage method. After purchasing cryptocurrency, you will need to decide how to store it. The most common storage method is a cryptocurrency wallet. When buying from a broker, the storage method may be predetermined. However, if you are using an exchange, you have the option to choose between a hot wallet or a cold wallet. Hot wallets. A hot wallet is an online storage solution that you can access from a computer, smartphone, or tablet. While convenient, Hot wallets are connected to the internet, making them more vulnerable to cyber attacks. Therefore, it is essential to use strong security measures, such as two-factor authentication, to protect your digital assets. Cold wallets. A cold wallet is an offline storage solution that is not connected to the internet. This type of wallet is typically an external device, such as a USB drive, where you can store your cryptocurrency. Cold wallets offer a higher level of security because they are immune to online threats. However, it is crucial to keep the device and the associated key code in a safe place, as losing them could result in the permanent loss of your cryptocurrency. Ready to explore the world of cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency presents a wealth of opportunities for investing, trading, and even employment in the burgeoning field of financial technology, fintech. As with any investment, it is essential to educate yourself on the technology and market dynamics before diving in. Several online courses and resources can help you gain a deeper understanding of cryptocurrency. For instance, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency technologies offered by Princeton University is an online course that provides an in-depth explanation of how Bitcoin operates and what sets it apart from other financial systems. The course covers critical topics such as price determination and the potential future of cryptocurrency. Another valuable resource is Blockchain and Cryptocurrency Explained, a beginner-level certificate course offered by the University of Michigan. This course takes approximately nine hours to complete and covers the fundamentals of blockchain technology, the strengths and weaknesses of cryptocurrency, and the potential career opportunities in the fintech industry. Whether you are a seasoned investor or a curious beginner, the world of cryptocurrency offers endless possibilities by equipping yourself with the right. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into the world of cryptocurrency. I hope you found this information valuable and that it helps you better understand the potential and complexities of this evolving digital landscape. If you enjoyed the content, Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future insights and updates here on Finance Homefront. And remember, this video is for informational purposes only and not financial advice. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover next, drop them in the comments below. Until next time, take care and stay informed.